Welcome back to Cursed Mining and today we are talking about the ongoing harvest finance incident or exploit, no matter how you want to call it. We presented some protocols on the channel before and we are always talking about risks that inspired me to do this video to not only show the positive sides but also literally when shit happens. Harvest Finance is a yield farming protocol on Ethereum and it was say exploited. Why is this important? Well, at its heights, Harvest had over $1 billion in total value locked. Those are not small numbers. Then after it fell to around less than half, but seems to be slowly rising again while making this video. Basically, Harvest tried to be a digital hedge fund or say robotic strategy advisor like other platforms we have discussed in the channel. Often we heard comparisons to the one and only year in finance, but decide for yourself. Long story short, it tries to find the best strategies for the user's funds to deploy and earn yield. For example, it would automate farming the Uniswap or also the Curve token we already had videos about. The point of it was to save fees and their own token, Farm, was interwoven in those strategies. There was profit sharing with the contract itself buying harvest off the market and giving it back to farm holders. This worked well for a time, until the exploit. Some call it hack, but it was not really one. Everything that happened is technically possible in the way smart contracts are built. It is rather a matter of what price oracle you use or on what source you rely. <coughs> Should have used Chainlink. <coughs> So that stuff like that can't happen. Basically, on the one end of the spectrum, people call it an arbitrage opportunity, the other end a flash loan exploit. Long story short, someone pocketed around 25 million US dollar worth of crypto in less than half an hour. Let's break down what happened. First of all, only 10 ETH were needed to do all of this. Can you imagine? Thanks to flash loans. That topic would make this video explode, but I will link you resources on flash loans below. Basically, through a 11.4 million US dollar flash loan and massive swaps from USDC to USDT in Curve Finance, the USD pack coin moved up the dollar pack only when using Curve's price feed, that is, which farm is using. And then the exploiter could deposit into a harvest vault at a very reduced cost. Then by changing back the previous 11.4 million from USDT to USDC, the opposite asset sank again and like that he could withdraw around 500,000 US dollar in profit just from one cycle of doing this. Weirdly though, the attack stopped after 25 minutes and only drained around 24 million USD. The exploiter could have easily drained the total pool and all other harvest pools connected to curve. They didn't. I let that stand here as it is. Besides that, the hacker mostly managed to cash out in Bitcoin, a mixture of Tornado Cash and REN VM, to exchange Ether to REN PTC and then to actual Bitcoin. Compared to the KuCoin hacker, this one was fast and professional. In a positive light, liquidity providers on Uniswap and Curve earned enormous fees through exactly those swaps. Curve had a record daily volume so that the interface wasn't able to show it correctly for a bit. And I'll give you some of the numbers of people who profited from this. The exploiter 24 million, Uniswap liquidity providers around 6 million, weirdly the harvest developers 2.5 million, a bit on that later. Curve liquidity providers earned $1 million and $100,000 were spent in Ethereum gas fees and for the RenVM fees we have $20,000. There are some weirdnesses I want to mention about the whole incident but I'm withholding any judgment. Please do your own research. First, this happened one day after Chris Black had say a little discussion about some critical aspects of Harvest. Say an admin key which could potentially drain users funds even though there is a time lock. Second, you saw the 2.5 million harvest developer numbers. Some funds were returned and I can just ask why? Besides that, with recent news, there is a 100,000 US dollar bounty from Harvest Finance themselves on the hacker, even though at the same time they claim they have enough information to identify the hacker and want to force the person to return funds. To be honest, that is another question mark for me. 
Again, those are some weirdnesses, but please don't forget today is only day 3 after the incident itself, so stuff is unfolding as we speak. Of course, there are already dozens of theories in all directions. I for myself will hold back from judging anything. Oh, and for transparency reasons, I did make some profits by using Harvest and have been out for some time, but I was aware that everything I put in there might be gone as well. That's already it, I wanted to bring you a more up to date video today on some happenings in the crypto world which are still ongoing. Same as I had a video about the first voting on Balancer, there are some moments in crypto I love to capture in video form, even though this today is a negative incident. How this will play out, we will see. This is crypto, this means we can see these things happening live and we can track the addresses up to certain points. I was watching, same as most of crypto twitter not long after the incident. Next week I want to manage to announce the upcoming giveaway I promised together or instead of my monthly mining farm update, so we will mix things up again. Thanks to everyone for tuning in, let me know if you have used harvest or held the farm token or are hearing about this for the first time. I can only repeat what I repeat in every DeFi video of mine. We are all alpha testers here, we should always be aware of that. I wish all the best to each and every one of you. Please subscribe for weekly tech and crypto videos. Happy mining or farming and bye!